Red Edition, welcome. Soon I can be saying Merry Christmas. Hey, let me share this with you. There won't be a nativity scene in Ottawa this year. The Supreme Court has ruled that there cannot be a nativity scene on Parliament Hill this Christmas season because, hey, it's not for any religious reason or anything like that. They simply have not been able to find the three wise men in the nation's capital. A search for a virgin continues. There was no problem, however, finding enough assets to fill the stable. I just wanted to kind of get you going here about Christmas, you know. In the United States, I don't think this is in Canada, although I'm not sure. There's the BET TV network, B-E-T. And of course, that stands for Black Entertainment TV. So I've been having a thought about that. Let's have a WET TV. That'll be W-E-T, White Entertainment TV. What do you think about that? I kind of think the whole lid would blow off the country. You'd have everybody calling you a terrible thing. You'd be a racist, you'd be a bigot, you'd do this and you'd do that, but you probably would make money. So there's your dare or your challenge for the day if you're an entrepreneur. It doesn't even matter if you're white or black, be any color you want to be. Might be a good business for you to get into, and better yet, do it on the internet. Why not try to get wet? dot TV or wet.com, white entertainment network, and or, uh, wow. What is going on? I mean, try having a white beauty contest, and I don't have a racial bone in my body. I mean, that's bad. I mean, I am totally colorblind. I got friends of all colors. So this ain't about any of that other than who is the real bigot? Maybe the government? Kind of, sort of, maybe, do you think? Imagine having a bet black entertainment television station. Good grief. Now, hey, is this true? The phone kids have today when they are six is this an iPhone, and when they used to be six years ago, they had that, and of course, when I was six, I had that. Modern technology, and nobody was making any money then, particularly on those empty cans, and today, of course, Apple and everybody, they're making a lot of dough. Banks in Canada, there's no competition. The Bank Act needs a lot of work, I got to tell you, because these guys make up rules as they go along. These guys, being banks, they have their own rules. They march to their own band. They call them policies because they're not laws. For instance, if you take a bank draft into a bank and deposit it, they put a hold on it upwards to 10 days. And the reason they do that is they say, because maybe it's not good. It's a bank draft. It's your job as a bank, I think, to verify, check it, do something. People once robbed banks and now banks rob people. Kind of been a reverse there. If you had competition, open it up and make it simple for other people to get into the business and then it would take care of itself, it would be self-correcting. Right now, you can't even cash a check at a bank unless you have an account there. Years ago, a couple of years ago, I had a check from an individual. I went to the bank to cash it, and they said, do you have an account here at Royal Bank? I said, no, in Canada. And they said, well, we won't cash it for you. And I said, why? Is it no good? It's a draft. It happened to be. And I thought he was a good customer. We have a bank draft here. No, it's not about him. It's about you. And I said, I'll open up an account then. Okay, but I'm going to close it as soon as I get the cash. You know, all need to know that. Well, then we can't do that. We had a terrible argument, and I phoned the guy and says, hey, the bank says you're a bum. Oh, we didn't say that. And I said, well, of course you did. You won't honor his commitment. I have a bank draft drawn on his account at your branch, and you won't give it to me because I don't deal with you. What's that got to do with the price of a banana? Not very much. There's an appeal court thing going on in Toronto, Canada, or Canada, I should say, with Lord Black, if that's a Conrad Black. He was given the Order of Canada back in 1990, and in 2007, many, many years later, he was a convicted felon. He had done a bad thing, and they're now coming saying, we're going to take your Order of Canada away. That is just so wrong. That's morally corrupt. That's wrong, wrong, wrong. You've got to be judged for the moment. Man must be judged by the background or backdrop of his time. And this is terrible. Well, they won't even allow him now. What's been denied is his request to go to make application in front of everybody to talk about it. They have taken the award away from many people in the past. Again, it's just totally wrong, hypocritical. If you get an award for scoring a goal, and years later they say, we don't like how you got a speeding ticket, we're taking that away, that's got nothing to do with a goal that was scored. They're wrong. And that is right. Let me end today with this. A 10-year-old daughter went up to her mother and said, what's it like? to have the greatest and smartest daughter in the whole world. Mother thought for just a brief second, and then she said, I don't know, dear, you have to ask Grandma. <laughs> Y'all come back tomorrow, get a more for you from the right. See ya.